There is a free present for testing the matchmakers. And what do you get is five days of premium, 500 gold, and five times five boosters and gambling. Buying credits is a bad idea, so none of these are good. We start off with a bundle that is once again inferior to the KV5 and T77 bundle that was sold for 10,000. This is 11,500 for the Lance and C, which is only good for advanced players, not really a credit grinding vehicle, but more of a vehicle to challenge yourself with, to improve your skill with, and to show your skill. The Kyler, obviously it has a lower credit coefficient than the Lerve, it's a better tank though. It is quite solid nonetheless, not quite all the way at the top, but definitely in there. It's one of the good vehicles here. Now, they're also sold separately, the Kyler for 6,500, which this one doesn't include equipment here. If It would include equipment because Wargaming sometimes includes equipment, sometimes they don't. If they would include equipment for 6,500, I would say this is a very solid bundle, but because they don't include equipment here, I tend to not recommend this one here. But if you really want it, it is still an acceptable price. Not a good one, but acceptable. So, I mean, the Tonwagen is fine and the e25 is a solid meme vehicle 24 euros for this these times fives are unlocked which adds some value to the bundle so the value in here is pretty solid the e25 it's obviously a tier 7 it's just a meme tank with 3000 dpm and that can be a lot of fun to play especially also in fun modes tonwagen it's fine it's not amazing but it is a solid vehicle so this can be a worthy pickup if you're a tank collector, if you're looking for a lot more tanks in your garage, and also looking for those times fires because they are unlocked. So, the feel is Germans. Yeah, you're just wasting your money on tanks. You'll play like twice. But these times fives are unlocked. But if you're looking for a bundle like that, this one makes a lot more sense because the tanks in here, you know, probably actually play them. The 777, it's a 113 that is slightly improved. I made an entire video on it. You can check it out on my channel. But basically, it's a good tank, but it's too expensive. And from then on, we're pretty much just going downhill. I mean, the Scorpion G is a very solid tank destroyer, and the TL7 is mid at best. If this bundle would be something like 11,500 gold, if we could talk about it. But for 17,500 to get a Scorpion G that is often sold over value, because the Scorpion G and the SU-130 are about the same performance level. They extract their performance slightly different, but... Their general level is about the same, whereas the SU-130 is often sold a lot cheaper than the Scorpion, which is very unfortunate. And this thing, it's just mediocre. There is, it's almost bad at this point. Like, this is one of the tanks at Tier 9. Tier 9 already is a, not a great tier to buy tanks at in the first place, but this is truly the epitome of the word worthless. And then the Watchful Patrol, 9,000 gold for a mediocre Tier 8 light tank that is no better than the T-54 lightweight in the tech tree, and that combined with the CS-52 list, which is a good tier 7, but it is a tier 7, so not really worth buying. We have the object 452K, which is not good and not worth buying, and so is the FCM, not good and not worth buying. Don't buy crates, open your free crates, lock boxes are even worse than regular crates, duh. And while there was merely one singular good draw, we go back to awful draws. This time including a massive container and a lot of other pointless garbage that you don't need. Like, for example, an attachment container, which are most often detrimental to your game performance. Because the only thing they actually do is block your view. This thing's still going on where you can collect the MXCDA 105 essentially for free. There is another three days left at the publishing of the video to get 330,000 damage. 100,000 damage for a decent player is gonna be somewhere around three hours of gameplay, so it is still doable to get this vehicle free. Is it that great? Not really, it's just mediocre, but it's free. So if you can get it for free, why wouldn't you get it? Do you hate money? This is for you. The Tonwagen has a very tiny head that is also very well armored, so playing this thing hull down can work out quite well. Now, here's the thing with this vehicle. It's not among the best of to rate heavy tanks, T-42, even the Kyler I would put above this vehicle, but it is solid nonetheless, and because of the bundle that it's in, together with the essential fun tank that is the E-25, it could be a worthy purchase in that regard if... And this is very important. If 
you still consider spending money on the game after Wargaming made the change to selling and purchasing collector vehicles. Because here's the thing. This is a game. Every cent you spend is gone forever. So think about what you're going to buy before you do it. Don't just immediately purchase a vehicle the second it comes out. Because most of the time, the majority of offers are going to stay in the shop for a very long time. So you can think about it for a week or two, whether you actually want it or not. And in that time, watch multiple reviews on the same vehicle. Now, the problem is, some offers are very time limited, which is a marketing thing to create urgency. Those I would just not even consider buying in the first place. Now, let's see what we can do with the Torn Dragon here. Just going to stay held down here, use the alpha damage. Quite high alpha damage with this thing. 12 seconds reload, not really that great. The accuracy, it's going to allow you to get the shots that you need to get. But overall, it is going to be very difficult to actually hit something most of the time. Now, I'm going to try to push forward there. There's a 121 FT there, which is the one very reason why the MX CDA is pointless. Because that vehicle is better at basically everything. And uh, let's see now. I'm going to shoot the E75. Don't want to get shot by the bat shot, so... Gonna use that as cover, obviously shoot the T-69's gun, because I am that accurate that I can miss with precision. Now, let's see. Yeah, I mean, he's just gonna angle towards that guy, and that's kind of how you play most tanks, really. That's how I play most of the time. If your teammate's getting shot at, you don't need to get shot at. But, no, nope, I'm not gonna shot at. Ow, the, the hull of this vehicle is quite weak. Don't try to expose it in most cases. This is not a city tank, right? This is a hull down hills tank. So, if you put this vehicle into a city, then just immediately sell it again. Let's see. It's probably not gonna... Yup. Now there's only one guy left. Quick battles. The old matchmaker is back, which is very nice. Because, I mean, I'm still not going to care about my performance, but at least me not caring about my performance results in high performance again now. Whatever. Let's see. Oh, he's gone. I'm not getting that. And there we go. Hornwagen. Solid tank. I'd say six and a half out of ten.